fuck it <laughs> okay uh so so i'm doing this because uh, just in case if if this is needed and uh, because i think it will help me get get out of my head not and act like okay there there is someone to talk to so hi my name is nikhil uh, i am 20 and uh, well, I, i live alone in this apartment and i have been stuck here for the last 7 days so i know what you must be thinking nikhil how can you be stupid enough to be locked inside your own apartment for 7 fucking days well you see i'm not locked in i'm not i'm not that stupid but but th- then you would ask why why don't i just open the door and walk out and but well, well, that's where the problem is so so a door has two functions right every door has two functions it helps you step inside a room and it helps you step outside a room for some reason my door has disbanded and that function all together <sighs> my door won't let me step out at all so my door only opens to the inside then you would say that i should call someone for help but even that doesn't work the bell rings but with no answer even my phone says that i have internet but when i try to search anything nothing comes up then you suggest me the most basic approach scream scream for help but after screaming for the past 6 days i just realized something there should be someone out there to hear you scream there's no one it's just silence well when nothing works you should just wait it out wait for something to happen but even that's not an option my food supply is almost over and my drinking water won't last long I still have electricity and running water so i can boil water for myself but it's just it's, it's just i'm running on borrowed time so today i have decided instead of whining like a baby i'll try to figure a way out of this place what do you do when you have a problem to solve we try to understand the question so what is this place well technically it's my apartment but maybe it just looks like it because i can get out of my real apartment but i cannot get out of here so in conclusion this place should be a trap for me So why am I in this place? Like I know I'm here for a reason because someone went through the trouble to make this place look like my apartment. So why would someone want to trap me? Reason number one to prevent me from doing something which may harm the party who has created this trap. But I'm just a twenty-year-old guy. Like what power can I have on someone who has the power to create this? Well, this. could mean that i don't have a personal connection to the person who has created this trap reason number 2 to extract some information out of me again i'm just a 20 year old nobody what information can i have which will be useful to well anyone but but even if that's the case this is the worst possible way to get information from anyone like to get information you have to intimidate the person you have to make them uncomfortable so so they will say what you want them to say Here I am in my comfortable apartment where it took me two whole days to even realize that I am trapped, and I didn't even utter a single word until I well turned this thing on. So in conclusion, whoever created this place, you suck. But unless the information that is needed doesn't need to be spoken, it is observed for a definite period of time, like a week. when the week is over the subject is no longer needed so when did i get trapped in this place the 
last time I remember going outside and even seeing a person was when my friend Karan came to visit me last Friday. After he left, I think I made myself a cup of tea and I think I fell asleep. Uh, the next morning was a weekend, so <laughs> me being me, I had no plans or intentions to go out. My internet was not working on that day and it was the day before. So I guess that's when I got trapped. I tried to call someone to get fixed but no one was answering. And then Monday came and I had to leave for college. That's when I realized what had happened. Where is this place? Like, it looks and feels like my apartment. Everything's the same, except that door. That's the only thing that makes me think if this place is tangible or not. But, but everything just feels so real. Like, my food and water supplies are depleting, as it would in the real world, and I still have electricity and running water. Like, this, this just doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Karan hates it when I forget to put cups back in the kitchen. And this has been here for seven days. Still has tea left in it. Like that. <sighs> Maybe that's why I am why I am here. I forgot to put the tea cup back in the kitchen. Paying for my sins. Well, I guess I should, I should clean this up. It's not like I have anything else to do. Hmm. I think I have to wipe my hands now. Hmm. Well, at least I'm not running low on one thing. The bottle is full. How is this still full? Okay, okay. Even though this place looks and feels tangible and real, there are a lot of inconsistencies in how it functions. Inconsistency number one. I can't call or connect to the net even though my phone says it has signal. Inconsistency number two. The tea in the cup didn't even evaporate even though it was sitting there for the last seven days. Inconsistency number three. I never even peed once in the last seven days. So this means if this place actually existed, then these things would have never happened. In conclusion, this is not a tangible space. It's in my head. A mental trap. So things happen in this space as my subconscious knows it happens in the real world. Like having electricity, running water, food running out. But things change when I realize there is something missing. Like the fact I had the urge to pee when I realized I hadn't for the last 7 days. So if this is true, this experiment should work. So the table is clean. Three. Okay, so if that worked, I should be able to change the stove back to a normal one. And here goes nothing. One, two, three. It's 
still the same. Still the same. Okay, so everything in here is from my head, except from this. This is from outside. It's, it's, it's kind of like a Coca-Cola bottle closed with a Pepsi cap. I have to find another opening. I have to find a way to crash the whole trap. Okay, 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 let's assume this trap is like a third party software running on my OS. How do you crash a software? Maybe by creating a contradiction. Okay, so what is this trap made to do? It's made to trap me. But what if the thing that is trying to trap no longer exists? I don't want to halfway do it. I want to do it fully. I don't want to, you know, do the midway part of pain and then slowly. And I, I don't know how to fully completely do it with a, with a knife and it's not like I can Google it. So I think, I think heart would be the easiest to target. It should get the work. Well, a software crashing on your computer doesn't necessarily crashes the whole OS, does it?